Uncoupling, uncoupling trailers to and from tractors is necessary and done frequently by the driver. It is critical that it is done correctly to ensure a successful and safe completion of the operation. Let us start with a coupling operation. I inspect the fifth wheel for damaged and or missing parts and that it is properly mounted and secured with no cracks and ample grease on the skid plate. I make sure that the fifth wheel is in the proper position for coupling. They must be tilted down toward the rear of the tractor, the jaws must be open, the safety locking handle in the automatic lock position, and if it is a sliding fifth wheel, I make sure it is locked and in the proper position. I check that the kingpin on the trailer is not bent, cracked, or broken. I inspect the area around the vehicle to make sure it is clear of hazards. I make sure that the trailer wheels are chalked or the spring brakes are on. I check that the cargo, if any, is secured against movement. I position the tractor directly in front of the trailer, making sure that it is not at an angle which could push the trailer sideways and damage the landing gear. I check the position of the tractor in relation to the trailer using outside mirrors by looking down both sides of the trailer. I back the tractor until the fifth wheel touches the trailer without striking it. I secure the tractor by placing the gear shift in neutral and setting the parking brake and get out and chalk the tractor wheels. I check the trailer height. It should be low enough that it will be raised slightly when the tractor backs under it. I will raise or lower the landing gear as needed. If it is too low, the tractor may strike the trailer and damage the nose of the trailer, or too high, it may not couple properly. I check that the kingpin and the fifth wheel are aligned by looking into the back of the fifth wheel. I check the glad hands on the emergency and service lines to make sure that they are not cracked, split, or missing, and then connect them to the trailer glad hands. I make sure the airlines are safely supported where they won't be caught or crushed when the tractor is backing under the trailer. I remove the tractor chalk, get in the cab, release the parking brake, and back slowly under the trailer until the jaws lock around the kingpin. I place the transmission in neutral and set the parking brake. I get out of the cab and chalk the wheels. I inspect the couplings and make sure there is no space between the trailer apron and the fifth wheel. I go under the trailer and look into the back of the fifth wheel to ensure the locking jaws are around the kingpin. I check that the release handle is in the locked position. I connect the electrical cord ensuring that the safety catch is engaged to the electrical plug. I check the electrical and air lines for signs of damage and that they are clear of moving parts on the tractor. I raise the landing gear all the way up and secure the crank handle. I check for clearance between the rear of the tractor frame and the landing gear and between the back of the cab and the front of the trailer. I remove the chalk from the tractor and trailer and store them in a safe place. Now we'll uncouple the tractor from the trailer. First I'll make sure the surface of the parking area can support the weight of the trailer. I will have the tractor lined up with the trailer by checking both sides of the trailer with the outside mirrors. I do this because pulling out at an angle can damage the landing gear. I pull out the trailer parking brake control knob to lock the trailer brakes. I ease the pressure on the locking jaws by backing gently and placing the tractor parking brake on. I then place the transmission in neutral, get out of the cab, and chalk the wheels. I chalk the trailer wheels if it doesn't have spring brakes. I lower the landing gear. If the trailer is empty, I lower it until it makes firm contact with the ground. If loaded after contacting the ground, I turn the crank in low gear a few extra turns. I unlock the fifth wheel by raising the release lock handle and pulling the release handle to the open jaw position. I keep my legs and feet clear of the rear tractor wheels in case the vehicle moves. I disconnect the air and electrical lines and connect the air lines to the dummy couplers mounted on the back of the cab or couple them together. I hang the electrical cord plug down to prevent moisture from getting into it. I make sure the lines are supported so they won't be damaged while the tractor is in motion. I remove the tractor chalk and get back in the cab. I release the tractor parking brake and pull the tractor slowly forward until the fifth wheel comes out from under the trailer and tips up. I stop the tractor with the frame under the trailer. This prevents the trailer from falling to the ground if the landing gear should collapse or sink. I secure the tractor by applying the tractor parking brake and placing the transmission in neutral. I get out of the cab and chalk the tractor. I inspect the trailer landing gear to make sure the ground is supporting the trailer and that they are not damaged. 
I get back in the cab and release the tractor parking brake and pull forward until clear of the trailer. I then back the tractor to the left side of the trailer, place the tractor parking brake on and put the transmission in neutral. I then exit the cab and chalk the tractor.